Good evening everyone, I'm Nathan here with my wonderful wife Laura. Hello! And we're here to do a review and a playthrough of the Milton Bradley game, Bed Bugs. Hmm? It will drive you buggy! Yeah, so um, it's a bit of a weird topic for a board game, but you basically got to remove all the bed bugs from the bed. So and that uh, this fellow here can sleep. He's got a really weird name, like, um, I'll he, show you in the manual. Yeah, it's in the instructions, I can't remember it at the moment either. Uh, maybe it's on the back. No. no. <laughs> so basically, the thing is, the, the bed uh, sort of shakes using a motor inside, the bugs jump all around, and you've got to sort of get the right colours out, depending which colour's been called out. Once all the bugs are removed, whoever's got the most bugs at the end wins. Yes, so the best, you know, bug remover. <laughs> mm. I think the only way to get rid of bed bugs is to burn the mattress, isn't it, these days? <laughs> well, obviously not in this game. Uh, so just in case you find this game without the instructions, we'll have a link to that down below. Uh, why D way? Because he's wide awake, because oh, he's got bed no. bugs. Uh, so it's got the setup instructions and then just how to play. That's that's pretty much it. There's not much more to it. Yeah, it's just a little catalogue. I always like looking at these, like all of the games of the time. This came, this version came out in 1985, by the way. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we've got the main unit, which is the bed. With, what was he, YD or <laughs> YD, YD wake. wake in the bed. Now, we're actually filming this while the kids are at school because this is extremely loud. Yeah. Uh, we've got an on-off switch here. These parts in here are cardboard. Which you have to, when you first buy the game, you've got to sort of slot them in. Yes. And then you can see the section where the batteries are stored. I believe it's they two... They go in under here, don't they? Yeah, two C batteries. There you go. There's no actual <laughs> cover. It's just the cardboard hiding those. You've got your little... Put the cardboard back in. You do that. <laughs> I'll put this back. You've got your uh, bed bug grabbing tweezers, one of each colour. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a whole bunch of said bed bugs, which is little plastic little bugs. Yep. Of course, in the same matching colours as little tweezers. So... Now, when I first saw this, I originally thought that whatever colour tweezer you had was the bed bugs you had to grab out of said bed. It actually plays slightly differently, although you can play the way I just described, I suppose, if but you wanted to. But that's not what the rules say, though. No. Although that would make way more sense, you know, oh, I've got the red tweezers, I've got to get the red bugs. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so, right. let's bring that on. Let's see if I can get this better. Uh, kind of that way, so yeah. you can kind of see him, and then um, you'll be able to see where we put our bugs, <laughs> I guess. So, the aim is basically, you, you turn him on, all the time. You turn the bed on so it starts vibrating. Yep. You then, um, the, I think it's the youngest player, then calls out a colour. Yep. And all the players have to try and get all those colours out of the bed. That Once, exact colour. That exact colour. So say I go red, we go red. Once all the red bugs are removed, any bugs I kept out that I removed that were red, I keep. Mm -hmm. If uh, you remove another colour by mistake, they go back on the bed. And any bugs that fall out of the bed also go back in the bed. Yes. And then it would be Laura's turn to then yell out a colour. I might say yellow. And then, then we have to go, go to yellow. yellow. And we keep on going that until all the bugs are depleted. <clears throat> yes. So it's up to four players. So theoretically, everyone gets a turn at shouting a colour. Which, again, seems kind of weird. Anyway. So we're going to attempt to play this, but one, it's very loud. Two, it's actually quite difficult. And three, we're going to lose bugs everywhere. We're also reaching around the camera. So we'll do our best if we're struggling, though. One of those things might be All affecting right, it. All right, let's Ready? go. Red. <laughs> Red. anything about turning the bed off in between colours but we're going to because we actually lost quite a few um, down in front of us here so I mean just on the table up here alone there was four blues they even had a couple more off the floor I'm sure there's more under there but that's all I could see um, quick note I'm not in without obviously having purchased this brand new in 1985, I wonder if it was quieter back then if the motor has maybe lost some of like uh, the lubrication which has caused it to be very loud. Possibly. Uh, maybe someone can let us know. I don't know whether you heard anything we were saying during that. We kind of didn't say a lot. Um, I did say I'm not very good at this. I've got I'm a, I've very got, much not. I've got a few more bugs in you. <laughs> this is not my sort of game. All right, so let's turn it on. It's your turn to say a colour. Um, we also should mention the, um, what's it called? Tongs, tweezers. 
um, don't have a lot of movement. So you've got to be fairly precise with yep. grabbing them. Yeah. All right. Turn it back on. I'm going to say my colour first because you might not be able to hear us otherwise. All right. So, Yellow. Okay, <laughs> all the yellow ones are out. I'm not sure if all the yellow ones over there you actually got. No, or I'm not entirely out, sure, but, but look, look. We'll just we'll just let it go. I'm not I'm not worried. There's no way I was ever gonna win this game anyway. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we ready for our third All right. It's gonna be green. So a whole bunch more were flying down. I got hit with a couple of my feet. Hang on. Uh, All right, let's see more. And I'm pretty sure we lost one behind our backdrop. We'll have to just leave that one. I'm, I'm, I'm positive and half of those probably aren't mine, but you know. Never mind. I also realised I'm actually playing left-handed. Um, I'm not left-handed. Oh, I'm right-handed. Is the sun in your eyes too? Um, I don't know why. I just that was easier reaching past the camera with my left hand. I assume so. you're going to say blue since blue. you're the car. Funny bugs on the ground forever. Oh, we will. Um, so, you, hey, that was on the floor. You didn't get that one. <laughs> so, you would normally count these up. Um, clearly, Nathan is the winner here, though. Even if a couple jumped in. I uh, think so. I mean, mistake, but... it's actually really difficult. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you might notice the little bugs here. Hopefully focus, yep. Um, are, like, curved on the back. You can't really grab them from the back that easily when they're moving. Because they sort of slide off. Yeah. However, when they're upside down, there's a hollow spot. So it's a bit easier if you happen to get them upside down. But of course, they're moving so frantically. <laughs> you know what would have been a bit easier? If these were slightly rubberized. Mm. Just give them a little bit more grip. Yeah. But then maybe it would be too easy. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, that's a loud game. Yeah. This is very much like a kid's fun, fast-paced game. Although our youngest doesn't like loud games. No, so, so he refuses to play it. So, yeah. hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, it's fine. It's a little bit of fun. But, you know. I don't know. I just we're like, not the target audience anymore, I don't think. I just like motorised games. I'm you a do, sucker. don't you? Yeah, they're not my favourite, though. <laughs> if you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section down below. If you had this uh, brand new when it first came out, was it this loud? Because it's super loud. Yeah. We could, you, um, have, you have to turn the volume down I, on the video. I, I may, yeah. So if you're thinking, that's not that loud, what you're hearing from the video, it could be that I've actually had to reduce it because it was too much. So we'll, we'll see. Hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have videos every single Tuesday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.